Madeline Finn and the Library Dog by Lisa Papp. For all my furry friends and those who love them, thank you. And for libraries, where the real magic happens, LP. I do not like to read. Not books, not magazines, not even the menu on the ice cream truck. And I especially do not like to read out loud. Keep trying, Madeline Finn, my teacher says. But sometimes I can't figure out the words. Sometimes the sentences get stuck in my mouth like peanut butter. Sometimes people giggle when I make a mistake. And I never get a star sticker from my teacher, not even a smiley face. Instead, I get a heart that says, keep trying. I get a lot of keep trying stickers, but I want the star. Stars are for good readers. Stars are for understanding words and for saying them out loud. But I know what else they're for. Stars are for making wishes. So I make a wish for my very own star. I guess wishes take a while because I don't get my star on Monday or Tuesday. Keep trying, my teacher tells me on Wednesday. On Thursday, I say the frog's name wrong. It's Samuel. I try to get away with Sam, but it doesn't work. Friday is no better. On Saturday, Mom takes me to the library. Hello, Madeline Finn, Mrs. Dimple says. She's our librarian. I don't like to read, I remind her, in case she forgot. Oh, I remember, she says, but today we have something special, something you might enjoy. Madeline Finn, would you like to read to a dog? Mrs. Dimple leads me over to a big white dog. This is Bonnie. Why don't you pick out a book to read to her? She's a great listener. Bonnie is beautiful, like a big snowy polar bear. Would you like to try? Mom asked. Yes, please, I say, but not very loud. At first, I'm nervous. I get the letters all mixed up. The words don't sound right. But then I look at Bonnie and she looks right into my eyes. She doesn't giggle. I feel better. I try again. Halfway through, I get stuck on another word. Bonnie doesn't mind. She puts her big paws in my lap and lets me pet her until I figure it out. After that, Bonnie and I read together every Saturday. It's fun to read when you're not afraid of making mistakes. Bonnie teaches me that it's okay to go slow and to keep trying, just like the sticker says. I still don't have a star, but I can be patient like Bonnie Soon, it's almost time to read in class again. But when I go to the library, Bonnie's not there. Neither is Mrs. Dimple. Would you like to wait for another dog? The other librarian asks. No, thank you, I say, as politely as I can. Don't worry, Mom tells me later. Bonnie was just busy today. But what about school, I ask. You'll do fine, she says. Just pretend you're reading to Bonnie. On Monday morning, I am very nervous. Madeline Finn, would you like to read next? The teacher asks. Yes, please, I say, but still not very loud. The first sentence goes pretty well. Then I mess up on a word. And then another. I hear someone giggle. But then I think about Bonnie. I take a deep breath and pretend she's right next to me. Next thing I know, I'm at the bottom of the page. <coughs> Excuse me. I look at my teacher and she has a big smile on her face. I did it! I got my star! On Saturday, we go to the library again. Mrs. Dimple is back. I got my star, I tell her. I want to give it to Bonnie. Well done, Madeline Finn, she says. I think Bonnie might have a surprise for you too.
Madeline Finn, would you like to read to Bonnie and her puppies? Yes, please, I say, nice and loud. That was Madeline Finn and the Library Dog by Lisa Papp. And this is EDU Kids Space. Subscribe for more stories, books, and lessons, and hit the bell button so you're notified when I put out new ones. And um, if you want to support the channel, look for the books in the descriptions of my readings, and you can go ahead and buy them, and a teeny bit of the profit will go to me. I don't make anything from the channel itself. <laughs> anyway, thank you for listening.